Namaste, friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren Bentley, and I'm very grateful that you landed on this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you find that what I have to offer you resonates, I would love if you could tap that subscribe button, maybe even turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an update. Today, I have for you another Monday video, which is journaling, yoga, and meditation. And today, we're going to find a beautiful nurturing yin sequence um, with the focus around nurturing ourselves, mothering ourselves. So, what you may need is two blocks, a blanket, and a bolster. Um, if you don't have a bolster, of course, like a long pillow, like a pillow from your bed would work. I think that we all have blankets, hopefully, the majority of us do. And um, if you don't have two blocks, then um, you can use like two throw pillows or two large books. And of course, if you have no props handy, not a big deal. We could always make it work. There's always, when there's a will, there's a way. All right. So to start off, though, we will begin with our journaling. So go ahead and grab your paper, your pen. And of course, if journaling is not your thing, you're welcome to pass on by this and just go right to the yin part. And I oftentimes will leave it to be a rather open journaling concept with a theme. So feel free just to write uh, freely let that pen go wild let your higher self come through but I want I invite you to have the focus to be around nurturing yourself can you write a letter to yourself perhaps it's from the perspective of a mother um, if you don't have a good relationship with your own mother you could always use the divine mother our mother earth um, there's many mother archetypes out there that you could use. You could also think about yourself as mother writing to your child self. How would you have spoken to yourself? So um, we'll just take a few moments here, about five minutes or so to just free write a very nurturing love letter to ourselves from a mother source.
right. So as you begin to wrap up, you can just go ahead and begin to place your things off to the side. And of course, if you need longer, you're welcome to pause this video and stay here as long as you need. And let's begin to come into our first yin pose. We're going to come into a child's pose. Just bringing our big toes together, knees no wider than the edges of the mat. Let's go ahead and perhaps let's take that blanket actually and place it under the knees to provide ourselves a little extra padding there. And then we'll take our bolster, the pillow, over top of the blocks if you have them. The second one or both just to bring the ground a little bit closer up for you and begin feel that bolster slide in between the legs and we'll come down to rest on one cheek. And you can just take your arms underneath, or I'm sorry, in between the blocks or just, you know, snuggle them underneath the pillow as it feels good for you. Of course, you can always have your arms out to the sides as well. And we'll just simply begin to soften our eyes here. Let our shoulders round forward. Let your eyes and your jaw be soft. And tune in to the sound of your breath. Maybe you can feel the breath rising and falling against your thighs. And just breathing into the sensations you feel in your body. Breathing deep. With like an affirmation, you can silently say to yourself, I am deserving of love. I am deserving of love. Excuse me. Begin to wiggle our fingers and toes. I am deserving of love. Gently placing your hands down onto the mat and slowly lifting yourself back up to your long spine. We'll take the props out to the side, leave them in some place that you can easily grab hold of them as we need them throughout class. 
And we can take that blanket off to the side as well. We're going to come into our pigeon pose. We'll start with the right side. So come into your tabletop. We're going to send our right toes back. Take a moment just to curl those right toes under. Sink back into the heel, letting yourself savor that stretch. Shoulders back over the wrist. Let's peel this right knee behind right wrist. Left leg out long behind. So you really want to make sure that you're feeling the stretch within that right hip not within the right knee. So if it's in the knee, please just bring that foot a little bit closer in towards the body and take a moment to peek back and try to make sure your ankle, knee, and hip are all in one long line together. And as you're ready, you can either stay up on your hands or you can begin to come all the way down to the forearms, maybe the forehead, maybe using the props here to support you. Sometimes it's nice to take a block outside of that right hip and then letting yourself rest along the pillow. But of course, doing what feels best for you, trying not to push too hard or find too big of an effort here. Remembering this is yin. So we want to just find that beautiful surrender. And once you find your most comfortable spot and remembering that this can be quite uncomfortable but once you can find a grounding space just sending your breath into the sensations that you feel in your body letting your shoulders drop eyes soft jaw relaxed just breathing into the right hip it is safe for me to be left It is safe for me to be loved. One more breath here as we wiggle our fingers and our toes. It is safe for me to be loved. Beginning to press that up onto the hands, taking your time to let that right knee meet the left and tabletop. Perhaps drawing out some circles of that right knee, opening up your right hip. Going one way and switch your direction. 
Drop your right knee to meet the left, left toes float back. Curl those toes under, sink back here. Just enjoy that stretch in the back of your left leg. And then shoulders back over wrists, reaching left knee behind your left wrist. Right leg goes up nice and long. Take a moment to peek back to find that alignment with the leg, hip, knee, ankle all in line. And then find that nice deep stretch into your left hip. Again, avoiding any sort of stretch in the knee. Squaring off those thighs as much as possible. And then as you breathe out, finding your expression, meeting yourself on this side, a brand new side. So finding that support, releasing the props if you don't need them, just finding what feels best for you. Shoulders heavy, head is heavy, breath is deep into that left hip. Affirmation, I have everything I need within me. I have everything I need within me. your affirmation. I have everything I need within me. Press it up onto those hands and then your left knee back to meet the right tabletop. Drawing out some circles with that left hip as it feels good. And in yourself, draw those circles going one way and the other. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and grab that blanket once more. We'll place it towards the center of the mat, kind of where we want our knees to be. And coming back into our tabletop position. We'll flip that right leg behind you again. And then squeeze your right knee in towards the nose. Plant your right foot in between hands. Knee is behind those front toes. Back knee is on the blanket for some extra padding. 
And as you breathe in, just go ahead and lift yourself up, interlacing your hands, place them on top of that right thigh. So your hips are going to just naturally melt forward, feeling this really nice stretch into that right hip. We'll drop our shoulders. Let your chin be parallel to the floor, heart shining forward. Feeling a nice stretch into that right hip. Can you soften your eyes here and just breathe deep? I know this is more of a um, efforted pose, but where in the body can you find ease, gentleness, softness, and space? information. My reality is how I choose to see it. My reality is how I choose to see it. On your next breath in, we'll begin to lift up out of that front hip. Taking one more breath here. My reality is how I choose to see it. We'll release those hands down. Take your right knee back. Do meet the left. And we'll take this all over to the other side. Squeezing left knee in. Dropping left foot in between your hands. Right knee is on that blanket now, front knee behind toes. And as you feel ready, breathing in, lifting up, interlacing your hands on top of that left thigh, and then let yourself just naturally melt into that front hip. Can you find this nice inner thigh connection as you soften your eyes, your shoulders, and your jaw? Finding your breath into that left hip. I choose to find gratitude in the moments of my life. I choose to find gratitude in the moments of my life. Next breath in, lifting up out of that front hip. I choose to find gratitude in the moments of my life. And we'll release those hands down. Take your left knee back to meet the right. 
And then we're slowly going to swing our legs out to one side and get ready to come onto our back. So maybe it would feel nice if you put this blanket and moved it to where your head will be. Just to give yourself a little extra cushion. But of course, out completely up to you. Just gonna come down to our back for our final two yin postures. Just gonna find a supine twist to each side. We'll start first by bringing the knees into the chest and just rocking yourself a little front and back. I'm sorry, I meant side to side. <laughs> Massaging your little back, the length of your spine. Take your arms out into a T. Let your legs fall heavy to the left as we take our gaze over that right shoulder. You should still be able to breathe nice and deep into the belly. If you can't, just come out of that twist any amount. And if it is not okay for your neck to look over the right shoulder, just keep your gaze up at the ceiling. Let your whole body be heavy on the mat, letting yourself be completely held. The affirmation, my whole life nurtures me. My whole life nurtures me. Your affirmation once more. My whole life nurtures me. We'll bring her head through the center. We'll begin to lift those knees up towards the ceiling and then drop them heavy over to the right, looking out over the left shoulder. Meeting yourself here, letting your body be heavy on the mat. Affirmation, I am already whole. 
I am already whole. Our final affirmation, I am already whole. Bringing everything back through the center, finding ourselves in our Shavasana. I'm gonna take the bottoms of my feet together with my knees wide. That just feels really good for me in the moment. But you may want to just stretch your legs out nice and wide on the mat. Finding what feels most supportive for you. Maybe with your arms out wide at the sides, palms face up, or perhaps placing your hands on your body, giving yourself that extra nourishment. We'll soften our eyes and tuck the chin in gently wherever we are. Shoulders tucked under the heart space. Letting your whole body be held by the mat and by Mother Earth. Feeling how absolutely loved and whole you already are. Letting yourself be nurtured, giving yourself what it is that you need in this time. We'll just soften the breath Feel it flowing in and out of the body as we rest in meditation for a few moments.
to wiggle our fingers and toes. Take the side of this side of the head. I'm sorry, take the back of the head a little side to side. Oh, I got a little zen out. <laughs> And then very slowly, just rolling over onto either side. Letting yourself rest on whatever bicep is closest to the mat. And press yourself up to a seat as you feel ready. We'll meet in a nice, comfortable seated position. Hands to the heart space, long spine, and softened eyes. Taking a breath just breathing in all of this love and nurturement that's within you and all around you with the invita invitation to carry this with you off of the mat we'll bow our forehead to our fingertips sealing in our practice bow it in gratitude to ourselves to our practice that exists both on and off the mat and to one another, namaste. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you wish to um, go deeper in this work, uh, working with me, I, I offer one-on-one -on -one services. Um, I also offer plenty of online workshops, in-person workshops, all that good stuff. So you, the link to find all my stuff is in the description box below and I look forward to speaking with you and if not I look forward to seeing you on your mat when we meet again thank you so very much have a beautiful rest of your day create a good one I'll see you soon